Well, today on uh, Python Fridays, we're going to uh, take a step away. We've been doing a lot of Pi game stuff. We're just going to work with uh, Python and GTK in this case, and we're going. I'm going to introduce you to the WebKit. Something I haven't gone over. Actually, I just learned about it maybe a half an hour ago. I'm playing with it, doing a lot of cool stuff with it. Today, we're just going to go over the very basics of it. Uh, at first, I'll just go through it with the um, Python uh, IDE. And then after that, if we have time, I'll throw it into a script. Uh, but this way you can see real time as I'm adding stuff. So we'll just start up Python by typing Python. And we're going to import two modules. We're going to import the GTK module. And we'll import the WebKit module. Now on a lot of systems, these modules are installed by default. If they're not, they should be in your repositories for pretty much every major distro if they're not installed by default. So uh, check your package manager if for some reason you get an error that those aren't available. Okay, so uh, now that we've got our two modules uh, loaded, let's um, start using the GTK module to create a window. Uh, and this is stuff we've gone over in the past. I'll just create an object, I'll call it win, and that's uh, a name I'm coming up for that object. You can call it uh, within reason whatever you'd like. And that object is going to be a GTK window. And we've created the window, but it's not visible yet. So what we'll do is we will type win.show. Don't forget your parentheses there. And as you can see, we now have a nice little GTK window here. Now, uh, we want to add something to that. But first, let's create an object. We'll create an object. We'll call it um, web. And our web object will be a... Uh, WebKit object. So we're going to type in WebKit because it's coming from the WebKit module, which we imported up here. And we're going to use within the WebKit module something called um, Web View. So we've created that object. We haven't put it anywhere yet and it still isn't visible. So what we'll do now is we will add it to our window. So we'll say win.add. And inside these parentheses, we'll put in our object, which is web. We created that right there. When we hit enter, it's now inside this window here, but it's still vis invisible. So we'll type web.show parentheses, and you can see it turns to white. So right now, this is our web kit viewable window here, but we haven't loaded any web pages to it. So let's do that real quick. We'll just say web, so our web object, open. And inside parentheses and inside quotations, we'll say HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. And we'll just do Google as our first example. And as you can see, it automatically resized the window and loaded up Google into our interface here. Now, uh, if you click on some of these links, some of them will work. But uh, if you get more in depth into it, some links may not work like that. And that's because you're going outside of the... Um, Google domain, that's something we're gonna play with again later. But you'll also notice as the page gets bigger, it resizes our window completely uh, off the screen here. And that's what we're gonna get into next. As you can see, very large. Um, so back into our, our um, terminal here, our Python terminal. Let's drag this down so the top of it's within view. So we don't lose it off the top of the page there. And we will say um, win.remove and we will remove the web object. So it's removed. Our window is still that large though. So real quick, let's do win.resize and we'll give it, I don't know, we'll say 300, uh, 300 by 300. And there we go, we resize our window back down. Now, if you don't want that to happen, and I'll give you another example of where it happens, plus a little uh, advertising here, filmsbychris.com. And if we reload our uh, web page into there, you also notice you'll also get any uh, errors on there. You can see it's giving me a Google Ads error because I used to have Google Ads. I don't anymore, but I left the code on some of the pages, so I got a little error output there for that. But uh, once again, you don't see the page because we removed it. Let's do um, win.add, and we'll add back in our web object here, which is still viewable because we never made it unshown or hidden. <laughs> so you can see, once again, it made it very large. So real quick, we'll win.add, 
remove. So removing from our window, we're going to remove the web object and we will just resize that again. To avoid that from happening, we will use a GTK scroller object or scroller window. So what we'll say is I will create an object, I'll just call it scroller and it is a GTK dot scrolled window. Create that object. Now let's put that object into our window. So win dot add and we'll add our scroller object. And once again, scroller is the name I gave it. You can give it a name, anything you want within reason. Just remember it is case sensitive. If you make it a capital S here, you're gonna have to do a capital S everywhere. Uh, so we added in, but we didn't make it visible. So now we'll just say scroller dot show. And we did that. Now you'll notice there's little scroller bars on the side of our window here. Now they're not activated because there's no need to scroll right now. But if we add in an object, like say our web object, which currently is holding filmsbychris.com, which is a rather large page as far as uh, vertically. If we say scroller.add and we add in our web object now, we get an error and that's because I spelt scroller wrong, need an R there. There we go. So now you see it loaded up that web object with the Films by Chris site and we can resize it ourselves here, but didn't automatically make the, the site, uh, the, the window to fit that page. And so now we can use these scroll bars to touch it up or to touch it up, to move it around. So real quick, let's take what we learned and actually throw it into a script. So I will exit out of the Python environment. I am going to, uh, go into my temp folder just because these are temporary files. That's why I do this. I'll create a folder called W just for me to work in. I'll move into it and I'll say Vim. Let's give it a file name. Vim my web. We're going to give it a shebang. So we're going to say, uh, USR bin environment Python. We're going to import both GTK and WebKit. And um, just to keep this simple, I'm not going to use any classes like I really should. Um, but what we're going to do is I will create a win object just like we did before. It's a GTK.window. We'll say show dot or win dot show. We'll also win dot connect. And we're going to say basically uh, destroy here. And what this is, is saying when you click the X on the window, it will kill our script here. Otherwise, the window would disappear, but the script will keep running. So when the window is destroyed, lambada w gtk dot main underscore quit. Might be going a little fast, but this is all stuff I've gone over in previous tutorials. Um, next, uh, we will add, so when add, well, we're going to add the scroller. We need to create the scroller first. I'm going to say scroller equals GTK scroller, I'm sorry, scrolled window. And then we will add that scroller to our window. Then we will create our WebKit object. So web equals uh, WebKit, because we're using the WebKit module, and we're going to use from that our web view. We're going to say web dot open. And in this case, uh, let's use another site we haven't talked about in a while. HTTP forward slash forward slash forward slash brash scripts dot info. One of my sites. Um, okay, we got that loaded up. Now we need to make the scroller and the web object visible. So we'll say scroller dot show and web dot show. Don't forget your parentheses there. And we're doing good so far. I think all we have to do now is make our window uh, visible or our GTK, start the main GTK function there by doing GTK main parentheses. Once again, this is a very simple way of doing this and you would actually want to use classes to create objects 
uh, if you're getting into bigger projects. But to show you the basics of this, we're going to say mod plus x to make the script executable, then the name of the script. Now we can just dot slash the name of the script. There is our window with our scroll bar. And uh, is it just taking a second to load the page or do we type something wrong? It looks like it's trying to load it. Did we not make it visible? Thought we did. Let's close that window. It closes all right. What did we type wrong? We have web show here. Hmm. It was loading up stuff, but let's just do, oops, <laughs> uh, google.com. Saying GTK clipboard widget failed. I obviously typed something wrong. Hmm. We got our window, we're displaying our window, connecting our window, creating the scroller object, adding it to the window, creating our web object, loading a page. Oh, we never added. <laughs> we have to scroll up. Scroller dot add web. We made it visible, but we never added it to any uh, container. So it was loading, but invisibly. There we go. Sorry about that little mix up there, but it's good when I make mistakes in front of you. That way you can learn from my mistakes. So that is it. I will throw this script up on page uh, on my website. There'll be a link in the description. So please visit that link, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Also visit us on Facebook. I post extra stuff there every once in a while. There's a link in the description. Head over there and give us a like. I would appreciate that. And I just hope that you have a great day.